All right, guys, today we are bringing you guys our first ever podcast. I'm here with Aqua and Swift, and uh, today we're just going to be doing, we're just going to be talking about a lot of things like our channels, video games, and stuff like that. The first thing that we are going to start off with is talking about video games and the changes of video games in the past, like, what, year and a half, two years? years. Oh, you mean like? Yeah, I you meant, no. Like, big well, I mean, video like, obviously, superstar. video games have changed like a shit ton over the past yeah, twenty years. But, but yeah, like, in the past like what? Since twenty sixteen. Since when 17. Fortnite came out? Well, just which was what? Like twenty seven. Late twenty seventeen or early twenty seventeen? I think, I think it was early twenty eighteen. Oh uh, no, because I remember playing it like during the winter time, kind of. Yeah, like, I did too, Christmas but time. I just don't know if it was it was there before that. Yeah, before, yeah. Um, months, but... Yeah, so we're gonna be talking about that. Um, so basically, <laughs> how I see it is Fortnite came out. And I don't know why it got so big. It's really not that good of a game. I mean, I know a lot of you I disagree with me. The appeal is the fucking, the cartoon. The cartoons. Little kids can little play kids it. Can Their parents don't care. There's yeah, no blood. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's not like you're playing H1. Yeah, I can see know, that. PUBG. I can see that. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's kind of unfortunate because you have H1Z1 was the first Battle Royale and the best Battle Royale in a lot of people's opinion. But they kind of, tr they were trying to keep up with Fortnite for a long time and it, they kind of fucked up because trying to keep up with Fortnite, they put out these combat updates that made the whole player base drop all the way. You can get into a game and there's like 20 people tops now. And don't match with the type of game it is. Like Fortnite's yeah. different, totally, it's the same game, but it's a totally different game yeah. than um, H1. Yeah, people like to hop on the bandwagon of stuff really easily. And I think that's kind of one of the main things. Barn, what do you think? What are you... <laughs> You're going to laugh, dude. No, there's no... no one's going to laugh. Just, just stop, let's go. <laughs> The what like the thoughts on what Fortnite? Like, Fortnite like what? How Fortnite changed like everything? Well, it basically like set the standards for like certain games. Basically, it's, it's no keep point, going, dude. Going, you're just gonna keep laughing. There's no point. Keep going. All right, we're good. <laughs> just go. There's no point. Just keep going. There's no. no so this is what happened. We, we we literally have so many takes because every time Barn would talk, we would laugh. I don't know why. We just like kept we're laughing. Just get it out. Yeah, just get it out. Just ha ha ha. So Barnum, I guess better question. How has Fortnite changed COD? That's easy right there. Yeah. What do you think about how Fortnite change, has changed COD? Well, it's well, like, it's, it's given a lot of games like the, the, the battle, battle Pass or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know why you're laughing, but okay. Come on. And the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass. Yeah, yeah, Because they added that to Apex. Like they added that to all, many like Call of Duty and Call of Duty. Call of Duty? Yeah. Where that, what Call of Duty that start in? It just started in BO4. Uh, no, BO4. Yeah. yeah and then it just kind of goes to other games, even like uh, PUBG even has it too. And yeah, just a lot of games are just... H1 doesn't, right? No, no. I'm not no, sure. Not, no. not on PC version, at least. They do on the PS4, actually. They, because they really haven't made an update since they reverted it back to Z1. Oh, no. That it's was a they couple just, months ago. They just <laughs> kind of converted to uh, PlayStation when it first came out, and they just kind of cared more about that than the PC version. Yeah. But, like, how has it really changed COD, though? Like, how is the impact of Fortnite really good? What's the number, like, what do you think the number one thing is? Uh, I Honestly, I would or say the Battle Pass, because if you look at it, Call of Duty really is nothing like Fortnite. Even with graphics and stuff, it's really nothing like Fortnite. I think the main thing that changed with COD is that everything they do, they try to be as futuristic as possible. I'm not talking yeah. about World War II. World War II is just... They... A failed execution had a great... What could have been something great? Something great. Something so great. what they did is they... It was just, it was everything. It was everything aesthetic. Like, the maps were annoying because you would get the same maps every time. You, the colors Boring, were the same. They were so bland. It was like, very bland. Yeah. And it, you look at, like, BO4 even. BO4, I don't, I'm not a fan of BO4, but the colors on that game yeah, are amazing. And BO3 had color. It's just, BO3 like, Treyarch color. always had vibrant colors and stuff in general. Yeah. yeah. So. And Treyarch's making the uh, new game, aren't they? Is it mm -hmm. Treyarch? Yeah, so Treyarch should. I I, it's Treyarch. supposed to be Black Ops 5, is what it's supposed to be. Oh, so. I thought you were talking about the new Modern Warfare. No. Yeah, so yeah. the new Modern Warfare. We'll talk about that. So, the new Call of Duty coming out in September, I think? October. October, October. yeah. Okay, it's early, so. Yeah. All right, so that new game, it, it looks really good. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed because, I mean, the past two Call of Duties that were made, World we've War Two. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We've always been like, yeah, have this our awesome. That just shows how much we're Call of Duty fans is we're going to keep fucking having a... We're still having oh, yeah. up, even yeah. after yeah. we've done, not liked the last three games. See, see my problem is I'm not even going to pre-order it until I see gameplay. Yeah, like definitely, because... because we did that before with like plenty of games in the past and then you uh, like oh this looks like a really good game and then you just you play it and then you'll play it for probably like a couple of weeks or like a month and mm -hmm. it just gets really boring and then it's just yeah. like it's still not waste. they don't have the same replay replay value like that's the reason you can go back and play mw2 cod bo2 yeah because they have such they're great games they have good replay value. it's crazy because if you it's kind of stupid but in like gamestop because their prices are stupid and everything but 
even like when you go in there look at like certain COD games that have some that are like really old that are more higher priced than the newer CODs. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I 100% agree. Because like, I think, I think Call of Duty, I, why did they even fucking add the 150 health and the, I the shots? I don't know where they like, got that from. What, what game what was even that? I don't even think that's been a thing before. I've never seen it before. But it's, it's just... It's, it has never been it's a, a They thought it'd be good, Titanfall? but then... Was it not? No, Titanfall didn't have that. But that's, that's where they, they got, got the, the, the probably movement, movement from in like BO3 and stuff. That's where they got yeah, that from. Yeah. The wall running and stuff. It, oh, the wall running? Yeah, they got yeah. that from Titanfall. And I remember when I was playing that, I was like... I remember, I don't know why, but it sounds stupid when BO3 first came out and stuff like that, and I was like, getting ready on the jetpacks and stuff yeah. on that game, just because it was the similar game, but... Uh, and I think that's what our biggest thing with IW even... I know there was a lot of people that didn't like IW. Yeah. They, a lot of people yeah, think I mean, IW is better than a lot I, of Call of Duty, though. It was like the worst dislike video. It was the most disliked video. Yeah. It, it oh, yeah. Past yeah. Justin Bieber's baby and shit. Yeah. So, I think the reason why we liked it so much is every map was different. Every map had a lot of variation mm -hmm. um the guns the guns the movement the everything in that game was all good. it was all old call of duty besides like the energy weapons mm -hmm. it was all old call of duty except for the wall running and the yeah. boosting, and i think cool. and um i think and that was our main cool. thing with it yeah um and that's why i think we were so us like i, I don't know, really not really awkward but yeah i, I mean i kind of stopped just, just because I don't know. I wasn't yeah. enjoying as much, but it was it was a mixture Me and between you that. Loved that game. Oh yeah, we were grinding fun. it every day. It was a mixture between that and the fact that we were grinding it all the time, playing GBs, yeah. having a lot of fun on it. Duos, duos, yeah. solos, fours, all that. Yeah. Um, now to like the pro league, I guess for like CWL and all that, we have peop We have these rosters. Teams are even losing money because they have they have to budget in paying another player because they have to add a fifth person for <laughs> yeah. the new Call of Duties. And I think that's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, um, also too less profit to split. You know, right. You got to think, already four people splitting 500k, it's really not the most if you think about it. It's got to go, some's got to go to the team, some's got yeah, to go to the players. Yeah, they're just losing players. overall money. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I just think the CWL this whole season has been extremely boring. I even liked, <laughs> yeah. I even liked watching uh, World War Two. Yeah, even yeah, though we didn't, like, we played it for a while, but... Uh, you liked World War Two better than BO4? Ah. <sighs> No, I think when it first came out, I loved World War Two. It was fun. it was fun. I yeah, loved it. It I just was fucking great. World the main thing fun. with with World War Two that I like is that that was the game I was grinding when I was doing the arts. Oh yeah, the, the right, recruitment challenge. Team. Yeah, and that game gave me a lot of exposure mm -hmm. towards them, and so that's the main thing. Um, I think that they need to make. I am hoping this new Call of Duty is something along the lines of Black Ops 2. Yeah. Yeah. Like, or even yeah. like just like the old even classic the, yeah. Modern Warfare yeah. games in general, because everybody loved those and they all had like certain things that each person like played, like say for like a sniper or something, they had good stuff for them, or like yeah. people that played competitive COD and it was all good all around stuff. So. Right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think that's one of the biggest things that was surprising to people too with BO4 is have they ever messed up with Black Ops. A lot of people say BO3 is bad, but no. But no, in reality, BO2, in reality, no, that's no, just no. a biased opinion yeah, because of the jetpacks. Yeah. Um, BO4 actually was shit. BO4 was shit. There's it, facts. That's what I was surprised about is how they completely messed up with Black Ops. Yeah. And it's kind of disappointing. Because Black Ops is probably the most, what, you think it's more loved than the Modern Warfare series? I think so. Uh, I think yeah. it's I mean, I don't zombies. know because um, <clears> just like everybody would talk about all the Modern Warfare games more than I feel like than any other game but black ops 2 right when that hit everybody loved it and that's why Treyarch started to get more yeah they're, all, uh, they're popular they're always talking about futuristic how future futuristic is bad i mean f fucking look at bo2 came out in 2012 it's 100 percent in the future yeah AW. yeah definitely yeah. aw is you not, can not do super future old. just not, just not like crazy yeah, like crazy 50 shit. years yeah. or 60 really years or something like crazy like that and, okay what year this is off topic what year is, is the bo the bo Setting like what are the new games set in? Does anyone know? Okay, so 2025 is the uh, yeah. You really, okay, no, that's BO2, and that's a good yeah. But just so it goes from it goes up every time. So like BO3 was a little bit more, and I feel like it's a little bit back behind BO3. So yeah. probably like I don't know, like 2040 or 50 or something maybe. I'm not really sure. But it's like, do you really think the soldiers are going to be hopping around shooting each other? And probably not. Years? But probably not. that's just it's a game, obviously. But like, well, and who's who's to say that we don't have that technology though? Or we're no, not we do. But like, are oh, people are really going to be inside? Everyone's yeah. going to have it. No, yeah. we might have it. Active if, camera. You know, Russia or yeah. someone might have it, but not the fucking Taliban and all that. Yeah. Shit. Fucking rackheads. Um. 
<laughs> but anyway, one thing that I want to add it about the I like what I like about the old games versus the new games is the selection, the amount of selection. The new yeah. games you have fucking a million different things, whether it's score street classes, um, maps, map, yeah. And I just like the simplicity simplicity of the, um, the old games, like Spetnaz and U.S. Marines. Yeah, just yeah. that. And then there's you know sixteen score streaks to choose from, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. And they're all f- equally fair and. Right. No, I agree. Um, so I'm hoping that this new Call of Duty is going to be good. Uh, I can't. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I can't fucking say yeah, that again, it is, though. Yeah, because we say it every time. Again. Um, but I don't know about you guys. I know you guys do, actually. I do. Yeah, actually. I, I'm hoping, obviously, like every year that we uh, play COD, we're wanting to be good and everything. Right. But the thing about the maps is that that's a really big part. And they just, in BO4, they just bring back maps. Those are really the only ones, in my opinion, that make the game fun. Right. And, and their the maps, maps are like they're, they're just so repetitive over uh, like three, three skins yeah. of like they, they just, just kind of change the map, map and stuff and make it seem like it's a new map and it's not really yeah. it makes it worse honestly yeah. and it's not fun at all like yeah. the sandstorm. That's or weird how that. maps have gotten so much shittier. The games have gotten shittier, but the maps have really took a decline. Yeah, they just they're just all the same maps. Like they're all three lane. Like they're good, but. They need to change it up. They don't let's have the same three lanes every yeah, single time. No creativeness. Think about BO4 and think about your favorite map. Yeah. Is it even your favorite map or is it just your favorite map in the game? Like, is it one of your favorite maps? Probably not. Yeah. Really? What? Well, oh, no, like, I'm green. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No. I was going to say, like, what's yeah, your no. favorite map? But. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, just making sure because because I think it's like I think I think it like guys in the comments let me know is his is he really quiet and is he his voice going through this? One? I know, I've been noticing it on. The yeah, so if you could talk like that, that'd be perfect. It looks it looks a lot. Yeah, so far away because mine's like the loudest. Mine's like shooting to yellow. <laughs> yeah, I mean they're just blue snowballs. So it's not like yeah, no, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, um, but yeah, so. I, I don't know about you guys, but I really want to get back into game battles and stuff like that. I want it to be four person comp. Um, oh yeah, because five. Yeah. It's just it's, it's too much, much, and I don't know. It takes away from the it takes away from the, I don't know like I don't know if it's the competitiveness or if it's like I don't know it because when you have just three when you're there and you have three other people mm-hmm. and you're just going hard. And then you have five, but then in the new games you have five, and it's just too much fucking people everywhere. It yeah. really is. It feels yeah. like a public map. Because, yeah. like, if you're, like, getting, like, going in a certain place in the map, and you got, like, three people on you or four people yeah, on you, right. it's just, like, you yeah, have no chance enough. at all. And it's, like, but, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I just don't like it. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, that's, yeah, I don't know. I Because if we got into, back into GBs and stuff like that, I know, because I don't remember correctly, what, when did we really start doing GBs and stuff like that in IW? Was it kind of right off the rip? <clears throat> uh, yeah. Because and we had already played a shit ton of BF3. the beta. We yeah, the beta of IW. We were, yeah, and we were really good at IW too. Yeah. So if speed. we do, if because they do the thing where they have uh, like famous people and YouTubers come out and they mm-hmm, play the game out. and you see them like they have a whole event and then you can see the gameplay online on YouTube. Um, I want to watch that. And I, I'm gonna buy it no matter what. I, yeah, I, I know always, I'm gonna buy it no matter yeah. what. Yeah. yeah. Always. Um, but. I want to watch that and see if it's something I can get into with comp because if it is, then we could start working on strats and start doing stuff like that. And even like an RGK, we might be able to open up like a comp team. Yeah, we don't want to do what we did last time with team A, team B. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. and just stupid. have it four strictly league. competitive. Yeah, yes. so we're kind of remember we did like one private or I mean one um one was like a pub mat pub team yeah. and then one was like a pro team and then there was two pro teams and, and then yeah, yeah. Too much. just complicated and. The leaders too. Remember, we had like fucking four co-leaders. They were all yeah. We didn't. There's no like main leader. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, but yeah, no. So basically, just in conclusion, Call of Duty's fucking changed. All video games have changed. Oh, definitely because it's It's all games games that that, uh, they they try and take take things to add new things, but it doesn't end up working as good as they think it will. Yeah. But um, and like, it's just changes it so much and it's like is this even the same game as it was before um i just don't think there's really any good games coming out like that have came out in the past while yeah no yeah xbox e3 though the new okay i'm like four new games i guess yeah did you ever play gears yeah gears was gears 5 is coming that looks fucking sick i love new halo's coming the new cod's coming obviously yeah then there was another game that was coming 
But honestly, in the past two years, no fucking good games have came out. Or we used to, back in the day on our 360s, we used to play a co op campaign. Like yeah, Splitscreen we played like uh, on Gears Horde and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And just all the time playing that. Yeah. Stuff, so. And I'm even thinking about uh, if Call of Duty doesn't work out, I'm thinking about moving on to a different type of game. Yeah. I don't know what it would be. I think you should. Because or like, Call, trying to chase on. Sorry. Trying to okay. chase on to the Call of Duty dream. Like, yeah. Especially if you don't even fucking like it, it's not. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to push yourself to do it. But like, but like, what mean you were thinking? If if that doesn't work out, then like Halo, because we like Halo, and Halo's and a lot Halo of fun Five is still fun. For a yeah. new Halo, it's shitty, but it's still fun. Yeah, because they like talked about uh, they're going back to their classic uh, movement system and whatever like that. So yeah, yeah, no like aiming down sides, hopefully, because. It's kind of different because that's more Call of Duty than it is. Uh, yeah, Halo. And that's where they got it from. Yeah, exactly. It's so from because Halo Five came out right when AW came out, and that's where they got it from, or maybe uh, yeah. after or something. Yeah. Like um, like Fortnite was fun at first. We had a lot oh, of fun yeah, on Fortnite agreed. at the beginning. Fun Season one was amazing. On Fortnite. Now it's little kids building around killing shit. What was fun yeah. about it is you would have. That really good feeling when you get in a really good spot in the safe zone, you would build up on top of a mountain and you would have this fort. Big ass fort. Big ass Last time I played Fortnite, I tried that. that fucking two water. seconds in. Frick, I didn't hear anybody. This fucking, there's a whole entire like build fucking battle looking bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden I turn around, there's a fucking, there's a. Well, yeah, I'm dead. people just run up to a whoosh and go up all the way up and that's all that matters. But it's not like gun skill or anything. They even have those little building. balls. Like those little fucking dumbass balls. Oh, like the little hamster thing yeah. or whatever? Yeah, that's. That's one thing that really ruined it was like vehicle things and stuff like that. And then when people started getting super good at like building, it just kind of ruined it. Well, yeah, because you run into someone and then five seconds later they built a, a three story tower above you yeah. and they have a height advantage and you're fucked. I just missed that. If they made another game like that that wasn't fucking, didn't turn into that, if they had like a. What's it called? Like a, uh, a cooldown? Oh, what do you a cooldown. Like yeah, a like cool a cooldown. So like if you place one thing, it takes a couple, like, maybe like a second or two. Not just go. Oh, just, to build. Yeah. 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 So we could still yeah. build with enough time, yeah. but we wouldn't have to worry about. Brrr, fucking yeah. Yeah. Because these kids are not so fucking... good. It's crazy. Like I yeah. can build kind of not not I can't even build. I can't even say that. But it's like it's crazy how fast I can build. Yeah, yeah especially on like PC and, and stuff like that. I mean, it's PC, so obviously it's gonna be way better. But even people like. Now that I've seen, I've gotten like ridiculously good on my console, and it's like not even fair. If you, if you took like a break and you come back and it's like, what even happened to this game? Yeah, like it's changed so much. It has changed. Mm -hmm. If you haven't played since season three, don't give that one. No, that's what I'd say to people. Yeah, um, Fortnite. that's another thing, <laughs> right? We could even try it if you wanted to while you guys are here. We could try it. Or we could something. try, we could try it, it, yeah, yeah but I, it's not gonna be fun. I don't feel yeah, like. I, it's probably not. No, honestly, just... we could try it. What if we fucking win and then we like it? Whoa, whoa, whoa this is great, but you're I'll still gonna call be this Fortnite fan because we have no, <laughs> I'll still be yeah, another big Fortnite fan again. Yeah, we've been playing, yeah, especially me and you. We played when it first like came out and everything, yeah. and then we all started playing around like season like almost the end of season one or whatever. We all started really playing together. That's, yeah, and then we stopped at season yeah. four. Never, no, you never saw anybody running up and just building like yeah. a random fort out of nowhere. It was all gunfights, like real, yeah. real gunfights. Yeah. Or like building forts, like you guys are on top of the different mountains and shooting across yeah. each other like snipers and stuff like the that. OG, totally uh, the OG uh, sh uh, sniper and pistols. Yeah, the bolt and stuff uh, sniper like that. Shootout. Sniper shootout. Oh, yeah, yeah. The that, sniper and the, the revolver. Then they changed shootout. it. So they yeah. added five different snipers and they added a fucking every pistol and everything else. It's like literally not even sniper shootout. That was fun. We started we, adding like crossbows and yeah, stuff. We got a lot of good wins on that. Um, yeah, so we actually, this tomorrow is their last day here in Washington. And uh, one thing that we are going to do is tomorrow, there's this, we, I don't know if you guys have this, like where you guys are from, uh, but the Walmart here, right up the road from where I live, they have a whole entire esports arena thing. So it's like a giant land tournament setup area. And so we're going to go there and play tomorrow. And um, I think it would be kind of cool. Try it's going to be see. cool. I'm just wondering how it's going to be. Yeah, how it yeah. works how out. How like, it works, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if there's, like, what they have to play. Like, I'm not going to have every said, game, obviously. Yeah, but no, like, but they said, you know, what they had. Uh, well, and we could even bring our Xboxes PC. if we wanted to, leave them in the car if... Uh, if you need to, I yeah. guess. I don't, yeah. know, but I don't think you'll but need to. But I don't to. think... I, I think they probably have a PS. Because they... No, no, I look, wall. Yeah, because they have, like, stuff on the... Like, there's consoles already on the wall and stuff like that. And it has like certain like this is PlayStation. Yeah, I look, and that's like PC, PC on this side. And then, no, yeah, it's crazy though because uh, the guy I was talking to him the other day, or we were talking to him the other yeah. day, and he was talking about how um, one of the people from Spokane, where I live, um, 
he is actually like in California competing right now, and he had a, a scout scouting him for a pro team, so he's pro- joining a pro team. And that's crazy to me. The fact that uh, a chain like Walmart can yeah. can like yeah. change someone's life and turn it into a gaming career like that fast. It's ridiculous. And it's yeah. cool that they're recognizing that that's a big thing, and it's mm-hmm. not just it's not just some little like. I don't know, little kid thing. I don't know, something that uh, that isn't real. You know, they're yeah. actually recognizing that that shit's real and you can make money. And especially just, just like you, you walk in, there's something, something in a Walmart like that. Like that. It's like, well, whoa! Oh, I wish we had that in our Walmart. Walmart. Our Walmart doesn't have anything. It's just bunch of yeah. it's yeah. just all the <laughs> weird like crackhead people that normally in Walmart. But if they had that and they just go to that all the time and like compete, that'd be cool because you could do like tournaments and all that stuff, and it just makes it like more fun, I would think, and stuff. So absolutely. But, well, anyways, back to gaming, though, we were talking about... Well, gaming and then our team. Oh, our yeah, team so... Stuff. So, I don't even know what to talk about with the team. <laughs> uh, like so, a weird thing, RGK Gaming. So, actually, Aqua and I both joined, um... We both joined Obey, but it's not the Obey. <laughs> yeah, not, not the real, like, Not the real Obey. Big o- I mean, it's real, but it's, it's not real. the big Obey. It was, it was around before actual Obey Alliance. It's called Obey Supremacy. It's got like 70 or something K on yeah, Twitter. Something like that. It's pretty cool. We have There's a lot of good members and stuff like that in it. Um, uh, that's going to be like, it's kind of our secondary team. It's kind of a team that we, we're kind yeah, of representing. We're just trying to focus on RGK, RGK yeah. as a whole and just trying to get, uh, I mean, it's kind of hard right now because we have, we're still trying to get like people in to join that do like YouTube and stuff right now and not just like what we did before. We just did straight comp and nothing else. So every, yeah, people would, people, yeah, yeah people would, Everyone thought they were a pro player just because they would Fuck go play yeah. pubs, yeah. and that's what it was. And there's we uh, even thought that kind of mm-hmm. yeah. One of the uh, people in our team right now actually had a team, and it was literally they had ten or eleven comp teams. <laughs> remember that, Barn? You remember that? They had like ten or eleven comp teams. We're talking about um, uh, uh, Hunt. Oh His yeah. Team. Oh His yeah. Team. He Fun. had. I mean, 10 or eleven. That's just insane to it's me. Just, how are you supposed to even keep track of all? How do you manage that? <laughs> right. So what is there like a captain for every team? It's just like that doesn't even. And doesn't what are they doing? Sense. And they're all like different time zones. Like how yeah. you can't practice and get you can't have a consistent schedule yeah. for yeah. practice. Especially and... they're not they're still kids. They're not yeah they're not high school. Yeah. And some of them yeah. at least you know. It's hard to manage though. It is it's yeah. It's hard. Like, like we, we even tried to do that. Remember me and you were trying to do a team when they had their own like uh their main pro team or whatever when we were playing IW and stuff. We tried right. to get. That one kid that was from, like, I think UK or something like that. And we were trying to find a time to, like, practice. And it's just, it just doesn't it's, work. Yeah. yeah, it's so We know hard. firsthand. Where yeah. was it from? Somewhere, Somewhere in the UK. Yeah. Somewhere there. I think it was, like, in England. I don't remember. Yeah, but, I don't know. But, but yeah. You might as well not even. No. We, we didn't even play, play with them. We did, yeah, <laughs> there was no time. And so yeah. we just not even. We just. Yeah, just didn't have them on our team or whatever. And we just kind and of. And it'll, yeah. it'll. If we do. Well. You know, if we all love the Call of Duty enough to start doing RGK stuff with it again, we're all gonna. It's gonna be different because we all like the game. Right. Yeah. We all love the game. Hopefully, we love it. I think we're gonna love it just because it's Modern Warfare. But. But, but yeah, you just you don't, don't want to get your hopes up too much because remember we did that with every other every uh, every other COD, yeah. especially yeah. like yeah. World War Two. I was like, like finally boots, boots on the ground. Everyone was like that. Like yeah, let's go. And then it was fun in the beginning, but then. Stuff just got so boring, and it just did make it fun. And we all weren't playing together all the time in plays, so like it just, yeah, it just went downhill from there, honestly. And uh, I'd I'd even be game to uh, to like I don't know recruit people that like just upload anything. Yeah. Whether it's like like this kid, there's a kid on YouTube. I actually shouted him out. You guys can see it on my on my channel. Um, his name's Dubzane or Dubzane or something like that. He literally uploads every every day. He hits a lot of trick shots on BO2. Every day he uploads um, like a 30 second clip of a trick shot in the kill cam. Even that is cool because yeah. I remember when he first started uploading those, he had like 20 subscribers. Right now he's at 89. Oh, yeah. So yeah. like it's a good way to grow because BO2 especially, BO2 is kind of a popping. It's, yeah. it's, it's crazy so from, yeah, yeah still, from yeah, even like, what, what was, was it, like 2012 or something? That's when it came right. Out, right, 2012. Yeah, and, and it's still, like, still, like yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, not as popular, popular but, but it's still, it's crazy yeah, how many people still play that game and people watch it and stuff. That goes back to what I was saying, man, the replay value is great because it's just such a good game. Or even like, Texel, he still makes YouTube videos on there, right? So it's like, he still gets pretty decent amount of views and likes and all this, which is actually kind of right. crazy. Yeah. Texel plays all sorts of Call of Duty. It's just like anyone who uploads anything, really. Because everything 
anyone that has the ability and the drive to upload anything has potential yeah in my right. eyes at least um so because you're devoting your time you're sitting there and doing it yeah yeah, yeah. and even look to where from you came from we were recording on our phones we were uploading stuff. we were taking our phones setting them up and recording our on like screens. a table yeah Shout and out to just, Beat Stops. Yeah. yeah. Go check Beat that stops, out. On, yeah. Go all the way down in Fathom's channel. It's You'll it's somewhere it. in there. Beat That's Stops. A, featuring yeah. Ar- My but, first video featuring Ar- Arkwright. Yeah, as well. yeah, basically. Yeah. It was something. It was. But it's cool because like then to now. Yeah. yeah and we out. weren't even doing that for YouTube. We just made it because we were having fun yeah. doing it, which it looks stupid, but it was honestly so much fun at the time just because we were enjoying it. And it's not like. Oh, we're gonna get money off this or something. So we're actually yeah. just doing because it. it's fun. YouTube's really doing the fucking thing. Yeah, and he just started off doing like GTA uh, videos like that and stuff like that. And it's just funny because yeah. back on the day when we were like using phones to record it, now like you've got your own like whole setup and everything. And it's yeah. cool how far you've come and stuff like that. Yeah, and even like looking at it, me personally, I feel like I should have more subscribers than I do. Yeah. But I'm also grateful because I've earned all my subscribers. And they actually, at one point, they thought that I was buying buying YouTube, buying subscribers because I, I i blew up at one point but i wasn't because my youtube account would be banned so so fuck you guys <laughs> i'm going home joke, right yeah yeah like how we call barn you know a virgin no oh, but yeah. look at this shirt right over here virginity rocks it does <laughs> yeah it does rock virginity virginity rocks oh we got new tattoos yesterday. This is the one I got. I'll show you. Show him his. Yeah. Let's see. My mic's probably in the way. But Look like, at those titties. He real. got that one. That's the same one that I have on my hand right here. Yeah, I got it. So, so we all got the same one and stuff right like that. So. Yeah. His is all fucked up. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He's fat. He sweats when he walks. <laughs> uh, wipes it off. Uh, yeah. But no, I'm looking forward to what our RG he becomes, I guess. I think it's good. It, it I'm could, hoping we can keep, keep it going. Yeah. Unlike last time, we all stopped. Yeah. And it just kind of... It just depends it's, on the COD. Yeah. And it, it just, just depends, depends on, like, what we do, honestly. Like, like we shouldn't have to just depend on COD. Like, even if we have fun on something else, you can do, right. like, a video or something like that. Or just, like, never whatever. it works. No, know? I know. But, like... like we, COD is, like, just gotta work. Like, that's yeah, that's why you just can't rely on COD anymore. Because, like, you'll get your hopes up and it'll just be, like, you play it and it's not fun. And it's like, well, I guess I'm stopping. Yeah. So... Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's happened with me, though. Like, with BO2, I've done it twice already. Like, I haven't uploaded in probably, like, a week or two, or, like, two weeks now, probably. And it's just because BO2 burnt me out, like, really bad. I love the game, but I can't sit there and play it for, like, five or six hours a day. or playing it for fucking... I know. How long has it been? 2012. Six years. Seven. A long time. What? Yeah, me. We've all been playing COD for, like, majority of our lives and stuff we like have. that. So, it's... I don't know. It yeah. sucks to see it go to shit. Yeah, it really, it really does. does. And um, I mean, if 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 they stopped, if if they were one hundred percent done putting out good games, Call of Duty, every game actually, what where do you guys what do you guys think you'd be doing in a free time? Halo, Halo, because I knew I know the new Halo is gonna be good. Yeah, I trust it. Just Halo. Yeah, I'd get into that. Halo. I might. I'll try to get into that. Actually. Halo or um, Apex. I've really been liking Apex. Yeah, Apex, has, Apex been fun. has been really fun. But it's not like a game that. I don't know if I'd devote my time no. to playing have Halo. Have any of you guys played Blackout recently? Is there any Heck right no, there? I have not played that. And like, I don't know. Last I time I think I played was with him, and that was like what? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know, I probably like beginning of the year or something like that tonight. before. We should do that shot tonight. We can. We could, yeah, we, we gotta like try games and see if they're... Like Fortnite, I don't know about that. But we can still try it. I don't know how fun it's going to be, but Blackout, we could try that. I didn't like that, honestly. When, in the beta, it was kind of cool because it was something new, but when it actually came out, I wasn't, I don't know, it just wasn't as fun. It was the just concept like a, is cool. The concept, yeah. the fact that they added all these old Black Ops maps mm-hmm. and put it into use, like you have Firing Range, you have Yeah, Duke that's Town. cool. That's yeah. cool. That's I creative. think that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. You got everything. It you got Hydro. Feels like, yeah, it just kind of feels like PUBG, though. Like, I didn't really play like PUBG that much, but like we played on a mobile and stuff like that. And that kind of just feels like that, even though it's like COD, but it's both the same f- first person. And it's both kind of realistic with mm-hmm. like guns and stuff like that. And it just kind of like. Well, what I don't do you know. think Apex does different? Because Apex isn't a weird looking well, game. Well, they have like real. certain like specialist guys or heroes. No, I, I meant like yeah, the so world. The I world? It's more like greeny. They've got every single element. Terrain. Besides snow. Yeah. Besides snow. Yeah. They have the swamp, they have the desert, they have. The woods they have, 
fucking the riverbed. They have everything yeah. like that. I think that's cool. And I really like... I think it's just like the sound of when you get a kill or when you knock someone. Uh-huh. It's, it's like satisfying. Like, like, like BO4, yeah, the blackout mode, I feel like it's just too hard to kill people. And it's shield. just It just feels way too hard. Well, and even like, like if you have the R301 on Apex, yeah. you have no extendo for it at all. Even if you have a light extendo. Someone has purple armor, you fucking put every shot into them and it gets them down to like 50 health. Mm-hmm. And because it knocks all their shield and then they're down to 50 mm-hmm. health. And that's kind of just how it is. Um, I think that's my main issue with it. And that's kind of what my big issue was with Blackout. Is Blackout did the same thing where it was so... Their armor, the, they, if you had armor. Juggernaut armor, there's no way you're dying. Yeah. If, if you, or if you go up with someone, it's like that always happened. And I would just die because I would have like super low armor and I would just get destroyed. And it's yes. just like... I think they toned it down now, though, but it was so overpowered in the beginning of the game. I just yeah. didn't want to give it another shot. Yeah. What about, too, even, like, the the climate of video games? Because, like, think about a game like GTA. Mm-hmm. They're either going to have to tone it down hella with all their stuff they do. Or, People are yeah. pussies, yeah. Yeah, so that's affected it. It's affected things. The reason they – that's the reason they were started – I've read this is the reason why, they're, that, why they chose to do uh, Red Dead 2 over GTA 6 mm-hmm. is because – they can do that game without adding in all the modernness of all this like shit people get offended by. Yeah, you know, back in the 1890, 1890s when it was set, it was different. It was simple. If yeah. you even look at when GTA Five first came out, people weren't pussies. Like there was pussies, yeah. but yeah. the majority of people weren't pussies like they are now. A fucking woman gets punched in the face in a video game. Oh my god! End of the world. Feminist fucking. Yeah, it's just out of control. Well, you nowadays. kill guys. Kill guys. It's like, <laughs> oh, perfect. It's like, oh, he was probably gay. Yeah. <laughs> Idiots. Yeah. No, God. but like, even uh, like the modern warfare, what is it, the third one? I feel like I was an idiot for this. But where they had the, like the terrorist attack. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, in, yeah. The, in, yeah. The, in the in the um the, in the airport. airport? The oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that was a big controversy. I remember like since uh, the modern warfare got announced and everything, everybody's like talking about that scene. Like, oh, is something gonna be like this? Like terrorists? Like with the right. Uh, what it's going to be set like and if it's going to be terrorist because they don't want to do that because that's a big thing people are like oh don't do that because everybody's sensitive but it's a game so it's not like and there was they're... an option to skip over the mission yeah and even like i think it was like australia or somewhere weird but like it wasn't even in the game and it's like they just totally blocked it out but in like the u.s it was in there and everything yeah. like that so right it's affected it's affected it's the a, games like yeah GTA it's a big thing now um it's got to be catered to everybody. Like, I get yeah. it on certain things, but if it's a game like that, it's not supposed to be like, oh, this yeah. actually happened or yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's a game. Just, or know, even like the news, like, they should shelter people from like when 9-11 happened. Like, oh, we don't want to see that because it makes everyone depressed yeah. or it's like, yeah. that's kind of rude or whatever. But it's like, it's reality. Just like how they censored the uh, swastikas from World mm-hmm. War II. That's history. That's yeah. reality. Like, come on. Stop trying okay. to care behind that. This is on topic. We're kind of off topic. You know what really fucking pisses me? What? What? Grinds what your really gears. grinds my Grinds gears? The new Men in Black. Uh, the fucking feminist. Isn't it girls? Maybe. No, it's a girls main character. Girl. Oh, wow. When has Men in Black ever I been girls? It's all been guys. Yeah. And I don't it's, get why they do that. When they, Ghostbusters too. Oh, I know. I didn't even go watch that. It's such a, hus- a hassle for for the the the, the, t- the people making these movies or making these video games. Why the fuck do they cater to these yeah. dirty? Fucking feminists. Yeah, I don't know why they, I don't know why they cater to them. Because I know they could take it to court. They could take it to court. Yeah, but they don't yeah. want to get fucking but sued. But what happens when all of these all of these um like studios, all these producing studios, all these game people fucking they all come together and they make games that have shit that like, like they used to. GTA five, um, strippers, whatever. It's gonna kinda overpower them. It's gonna overrule them. Yeah. I think. I don't know how it all works, really, but I think that it would overrule them. What would overrule it? What, what it would overrule mean? the fruit cups. The people getting pissed yeah. off about nothing. Yeah. Yeah, because... But I don't know. The feminists have strong power, dude. They have, they have they, power. It's, yeah, Fucking, I don't know. It's just mostly, annoying because they act like they've been held down all their life. And, like, now it's not, it's not even bad at all, but they just got to make it even worse to where it's like they got to put us down and everything like oh men are pigs or like they don't yeah. deserve this or whatever it's like it's like really do you know what you're saying right now it's like, just like you chose shit chose fucking shitty boyfriends as a yeah yeah but that's all fucking talk. yeah don't you don't even give that because that, that, cause that oof, even that though that does play topic. a big part with how gaming's changed only mm-hmm. on like the controversy side of it yeah
Um, but yeah, so <laughs> yeah, some of those bitches have more fucking testosterone than I do. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> GameStop girl, remember that? Was she was she like a trainee? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's gross. Oh, very you can good. tell because the voice was so deep, and they were yeah. like bulked up and they were everything. Bulked up, yeah. But uh. Hey, totally, off topic. Over, totally off topic. Totally off topic. Yeah. But anyway, back to gaming. What? What were we talking about? Gaming. Yeah. What were we talking? New about? consoles. Well, we're we talking about like the GTA and stuff like I don't know, but like the new consoles. New What's consoles. Gonna be on yeah. top now? Xbox or PS3? I really or hope or it's or Xbox. Or I hope it. I, I really too. hope it is. I hope it is too. But if you look at it, all these, all the comp stuff is PS4. Well, well I know, but that's how it was for Xbox 360 and stuff like that. It switched. Yeah, it switched when the one came. Bo3 came out. Bo3 came out. That's when it switched. It totally switched over. But that's because the contract. So we need you need to see what the contract is because like, it's basically whoever has the uh, season pass or not the season pass, but like the. Uh, the um, DLC, but that's kind of weird though because it's not even going to be the same now because DLCs can be free now, so it's not like you're paying for it. But that's that's the reason why they did that is because PlayStation bought out uh, Call of Duty to um, have stuff first before Xbox because that's how it was with Xbox and everything. They had stuff before yeah. Xbox has always had um, Pro. Like it's, I meant, like it's well, yeah, yeah. The, the sponsored console. It and has, then they yeah, yeah just switched right. though, which. Because uh, it ran out and stuff, so they have a new contract. But oh, yeah. um, I really, I don't know when the PlayStation contract ends, but um, I don't think it's gonna be in the next cut because I remember seeing an ad. It's like, oh, PlayStation Five something, or get it on PlayStation or something. Okay. Have what do you guys? What are you guys' thoughts on crossplay for the new COD? It's if it's definitely interesting. If it's Xbox and PS4, yeah. I don't care. But if it's PC, fuck off. PC. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at it, PC. You fucking have your mouse, you can go, yeah, and then Xbox, we go boop, boop, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the PC but, is, you can, you can, you can do a whole 360 and one, one, yeah, yeah. like one little flick, and the oh, Xbox is like, not yeah. to mention, you could bring mods to any fucking game on PC. Oh, I know, that's why, like, H1, like, when you go on certain yeah. servers and stuff, it gets ridiculous. Yeah. But what I heard is, uh, um, for crossplay and stuff like Fortnite. Uh, they have where if you want to play with your PC friend and you're on the console, then you have to have a controller plugged into your PC, and then it allows you to play. But I'm pretty sure that's how they're going to do it, because if they don't, then it's going to be totally fucked. Oh, it's they'll awesome. get a shit ton of backlash, and then they'll Oh, they'll yeah, it. because it won't even be fi- Like that clip on Blackout, the guy's going like, doo, doo, doo. like it's just Oh, Shroud. Fl- yeah, yeah, he's flicking his mouse over, and he's hitting every shot. Yeah. It doesn't even make any sense. There's this clip where Shroud... I can probably find it real quick and show him, but like there's this clip where Shroud's on Blackout. And Shroud's like one of the best PC players mm-hmm. ever. He, yeah. I think, I would say he probably is one of the best. His aim is ridiculous. He, he was sitting there. He would move his mouse. He'd like boom. It would lock onto someone's head, and he'd shoot him. But and that's not. It's not. It's not mods. It's just no, skill. Yeah, it's, it's just, just skill. A skill. But that's like so unfair because yeah. you can be so much faster than a controller can. And if you yeah. want to move like that, you have to be on the max sensitivity, and the max sensitivity makes it so hard to play on anyways. Because it's yeah. like that's not. There's a reason console games are. Um, like games like Halo and Call of Duty, console dominated. Yeah. There's a reason games like, um, um, uh, let's take like League or something for example. There's a reason that's a PC game. Yeah. It's because it's PC, you know, works with it. Mm-hmm. COD doesn't work with PC. No, it does not. Unless you, unless it's all PC. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. But give it its own shit. I could, I could picture console. Call of Duty turning into something where you could choose to play third person or first person. I think that would be weird. I don't know if they do that. I don't think that's don't not know. even close to classic. It might, but it'd be weird. I like would I, not it would like be weird, yeah. Like in BL1, it was custom games. You can do an option, but that's just to mess around. That's yeah. not like, yo, yeah, let's because it would be so much harder to play. Remember when we figured that out? Yeah. We're like, what the hell? But yeah, it's it'd be it would make it so much harder to play, and you have to add so much more stuff in it to actually be it playable. And it's just like I don't know why they go through so much stuff just to do something that's not even close to COD at all. Like, I know they took a jump from doing, like, uh, jetpacks and stuff. Like, that's really different. But third person is, like, a huge, like, thing that would be really weird. And I really don't think jet... This fucking train. There's a train. This, there's a fucking train. This train is so loud. Okay, what is it? I'll talk a little bit louder. So, I, don't, I honestly don't think that, um, that is a lot of shit. That is so that, The jetpacks were the issue. No, no jetpacks no, weren't even an issue yeah. at all. Because we loved that WMBO3. Yeah, yeah but, but that didn't change anything. Like, you just have to get used to it. But, like, 
The third person would change it like a lot. Oh, yeah. Like that changes the, the whole like aiming in and, and like, yeah. and then they could even add some stupid like uh the B uh <laughs> the new uh character they added uh, like from Bo3 Spectre, like his specialist thing is so ridiculous. Like your character can roll around and stuff like that, and you like lock onto people with like a knife. But just the mechanic of them like rolling around, they could probably add that. But it'd be so weird, and you're rolling around with your gun and stuff like that. I just don't feel like. That'd be a good move. It's not COD. COD dude. No, that's it's definitely not COD. Fucking, that's not COD. That's, that's like, like some like. The vision. Yeah, you know, it's like the vision. That's weird. Gears. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Example. It's, Gears yeah. was a big. Um, big for USB. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, <Fiend and> boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Is it plugged in? Oh shit. Okay. Good. All right. It's not plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> you can reach down there and plug it in real quick. It's fine. <laughs> Here, plug it in. Here. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah. oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. No, so absolutely. do you want to actually talk about like the team kind of like yeah. into it? And then we we'll just said like, oh, we're gonna try and try and play COD, and that's it. But um, yeah. So yeah, we uh, if any of you guys and I know, like uh, we used to do uh, we all had our team and stuff. Like it was mainly uh, me, Swift, Fathom, and then Slim and M that really played together all the time. So we made a team. Uh, in yeah. COD, and we really just did competitive, and I wish we didn't just do that because that kind of, like, it was fun during it, but then it was only competitive. It wasn't like we weren't doing, like, we, he was doing YouTube and stuff, and I was doing, little, yeah, we were all doing a little bit of YouTube and stuff, but we mainly just focused on making stuff on competitive, and that was really it. Like, yeah, practice wise, yeah, we didn't play really any other games other than COD, and that's why we wanted to expand and stuff like that. But um, we're bringing back RGK because we stopped it for a while because we were like, um, well, me and Feather were just bringing the team at that time and it just yeah. fell apart. Yeah, fell we started Theory. Yeah, yeah we started, started Theory. Yeah. And then that was good for a while, but then we stopped it because it's leading a team is a lot harder than you think. Absolutely. Because, yeah, it's it's crazy hard. Because I was I started up RGK um, again probably like a month and a half ago or something like that. And I was trying to lead it by myself, and it's it's really hard. Uh, so we're gonna try and bring it back again and lead it. Like with this new COD coming out, I think by then, because it's not like we're gonna do anything right now. No, yeah. You know, when the new COD not, comes out, if we all love yeah. it, we're gonna play it and obviously make videos on it, even if we're still figuring out if we like it. Yeah. But like, we'll figure out from there if we like want to keep doing it. That's another very very good topic. I know you. It's it's kind of like just about something you just said. Swift, are you going to be making videos? Are you going to bring your the Swift RGK Burp videos back? No, YouTube probably, channel. <laughs> no, I'll probably just stream. Stream? Like All right, if I, be a streamer. Yeah, if I, like if I, yeah, I don't. The videos, I love doing it. Dude, I'd stay up late doing it. Yeah, you used to I make like four it. or five. Yeah, I would make time. like two at a time and then upload them, schedule them for like 12 while I was at school and they would upload. But I don't know if that would just be something I'd want to do anymore. Yeah, making videos. But yeah. streaming, yeah, I would. I love streaming. Especially yeah. streaming like matches and you know. Yeah, you know, I love streaming, streaming like, like me and Fathom stream all the time and stuff like that. that. I haven't streamed in a little bit, but um, I, I just like the interaction like with talking to everybody and uh, getting, getting like new people to talk to and stuff like that, and just getting to know people that like your subscribers and it's just cool. So. Yeah. But. Well, yeah. Shit. Um. I'm looking forward to what. What else? I was going to talk about the sniping on the new COD. I hope oh, the sniping's yeah, good. That? Well, because that'll be interesting. It's, yeah, sniping, sniping's been dead for the last... Sniping's been since dead what? and AW? since AW. Okay. There's, There's still, like, a couple people here, here and there. Like, like face surprisingly, they still have, like, a sniping team or whatever. Texel is really good on uh, World uh -huh. War Two, But, um... Yeah. So, me and Fathom, we, like, snipe all the time on BO2 and stuff like that. We always snipe. Like, we even did it on World War Two and stuff like that. But that game just got boring, and we just kind of stopped. But, um, yeah, how do you think the sniping is going to be? I mean, we can't really say much because we haven't seen any gameplay any at all. Gameplay. Any mechanics or what it's yeah. going to be like. So I'm just kind of sinking down here now. I make a lot of cut commentaries. So I, I want something where I could snipe and do a cut commentary. Because, what was that? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's what I'm sitting on. It's oh. like crushing it. Fell. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, okay. I, I want better. I want something that I could snipe and do a cut commentary on. IW, I didn't snipe, so no, I was yeah. making. Cut I think it was way too hard because you everybody's jumping around and everything. No but... aim assist, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Same with BO3. 
didn't have aimless assist for barely any. Oh, barely yeah. Any. Oh, I now. Option, but it's yeah. barely, barely any. any. Yeah. yeah. I want something where I could snipe and do a cut commentary because I, I, I would hate watching unless it was like a challenge. Like uh-huh. even Scump. I don't, I'm not a fan of Scump. Scump on BO2 used to do like the 100 no type shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a good that series. That was fun. That's that cool. was fun. I would like to do that. But I'm not good enough. <laughs> I have terrible luck with dying. So I want something I can snipe with. Ma- I remember, did you ever watch Nate used to duo with people? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. him, and du- him and Embos had a really funny duo. Shit, I miss Big Timer and uh, Nate Shot on yeah. H1. Oh, oh I know. Those were good videos. Mm-hmm. H1, That's what. That, those are the videos that really turned me on H1. And that's for the reason I got it in the first place. Because H1 is an extremely fun game. I was, I've been playing it. I've been playing it today, yesterday, the day before. Yeah, since we've been here, like, a little bit. Yeah, I've been playing it once every once in a while. I've been playing it, like, an hour or two a day. Yeah. Um, And I've been getting quite a bit of wins, actually, and I'm having fun with it, but there's, like, no one. Yeah, I just wish there was more people and stuff. Like, it's just crazy how much it died because the way they updated the game and it changes it so much. Yeah. But you're the one that really got hooked us onto H1. It was actually pretty cool for a while. And then, like... Their updates just kind of made it weird. The combat and I was updates. like, like I'm not that great at PC in general, but still, like the way they, I was getting used to the game how it is, and then they change it completely. And think, like, think about it this way, guys. So you have the, you have the um, H1PL is H1 Pro League. You have teams, um, you have Cloud9, you have all these different teams that played uh, TSM. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. <laughs> that play TSM. Uh, you had all these, I was just naming teams, oh. just like big teams that people would know so they didn't know it's like an actual thing. They would have teams playing h one one If you think about it, you have a pro player dedicates their time. It's even kind of tight with Call of Duty because every Call of Duty has a different play style. H1Z1 would have an update every month that would change the whole entire Locks game, the way time. the game was played. If you think about it, being a pro player, how frustrating would that be? Mm-hmm. Very, because you got to adapt to the... To new settings on COD that happens, but not as much. Yeah, yeah because like the way much. they do it with COD, they only do it with certain weapons, not every yeah, single they gun just you use. Nerf shit. a weapon. Yeah, they tweak yeah. Shit. it's not even a big deal. Yeah, but exactly. H one, it's every single gun you use. Yeah, especially the AR, that's like the only weapon that everybody used. Yeah, and the way they change their like recoil and stuff like that is just people really did not like it, and then it kind of just died. And that's when everyone started switching to like Fortnite, which that's why a lot of people which started playing that because. PUBG. PUBG, yeah, PUBG it was, was PUBG first. Yeah, PUBG was fun. PUBG's cool because they have a lot of new, lot of new maps on it that you could choose between. Um, yeah, they have cool. like four. I wish a lot of the battle royale games did that. Yeah, I'm surprised no one's done that. Like PUBG, that's actually a really good idea. So you don't get like burnt. You get on, so burnt out. Yeah, and everything is kind of the same. Like you can land different spots and stuff like that. But I feel like, especially on Apex, like the circles go in like similar spots all the time. They don't change, and uh it just makes it like the same repetitiveness over and over and if you have like a different map it makes it way uh more fun or even like PUBG, like mobile they have like weird game modes and stuff like that that you can do different than zombies just, yeah like different than just doing regular old uh battle royale which yeah. gets annoying after a while yeah i agree um just gaming in general is kind of a trip now in my opinion yeah. this changed like crazy amount this which is, is kind of weird so fun like it's such a political thing everything now everything's is fucking political, political. yeah but it's mainly video games it's, it's like, like that and then even shooters. uh we've been playing <laughs> games and like growing up like it probably changes your mood like you don't want to just sit in that inside all the time like i feel like that's why it's changed a lot to us because we used to play all the time and like we wouldn't really do like much i guess like outside. i want oh, to make bro, it seem like we're the like whole fucking yeah. my whole high school uh, career, career. We'll call it. That. <laughs> what do you call it? Your whole high school years. High school years, career. I mean, high career. yeah. Um, especially during um, you know, when Hayden died, and then we started yeah, doing, three. doing all that. I didn't do any fucking thing. No, like, yeah, cause we were just thing. grinding the whole time. That whole summer was just crazy. Every day, waking up at like twelve, just grinding until probably at twelve. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know, getting on at two or three and getting grinding. And that day. like. We had a lot of fun doing that, but um, Fuck yeah. now that you're older and you can do more stuff, that's like, because I can like drive and stuff like that, so you can go do something. You don't just, yeah. you're not just stuck at home. That's the reason why I couldn't do much, is because I didn't know anyone that drove or uh, I didn't drive myself. I, I agree with you, but at the same time, dude, if I loved 
the new COD like I loved BO3. Yeah. I still think I would but just be a fucking... Even though now I, I'm not a fucking party animal. I'm going to go do shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not even... But it's like though, still... Like... I probably still would not do shit even if I was... No, yeah. Team. Because if you're having fun on that it. and you're just chilling with your friends and it's like, <laughs> oh, dude, let's go to a party. It's like... I literally... I don't do shit, barely. Yeah. I work, sleep, play video games and hang out with Lexi. Hang out with <laughs> Lexi, like, yeah. That's all I do. That's, yeah. I don't know. My work really fucks me up with getting yeah. my shit done because I work, I work nights so I'm sleeping from fucking 10 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night so it's like yeah. Jesus Christ it kind of fucks everything up and and that'll be kind of hard with the new COD let me take it back that'll be kind of hard <laughs> with the new COD huh it'll probably I be hard but that. I can work around it yeah. yeah you can definitely because even now we still play a lot like mm-hmm. not as much as we used to play because we used to play yeah. like, we all day every day and stuff like that but yeah it's we still have fun we still it's not like Oh yeah, we're not playing at all now, but we still get those times where we uh, we play for a good amount of time and stuff like that, and then we'll like get off, and it's not like we go so yeah. like four or five days without playing or something like that. Yeah, so we still play a good amount. Um, I want to move to day shift. I know I'm not gonna get as many hours. I'm working like almost fifty to sixty hours a week now. So that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's I'm gonna save up my ship, but we also are hiring you guys, so I oh, yeah. I could either move from day shift or I can stay on stay on nights and work. Not as many less days. Less hours. Oh, no, more hours, days. less days. Oh, okay. It would be nice. 12 hours instead of 10 would be really nice. And then just like three days a week. That'd be That'd awesome. That would be really nice. Because yeah. at 12, 24, 30, 36 hours? Yeah. 36 hours in three days? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I pick up a lot of shifts too. Yeah. Because I'm too nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Barham, on the other hand. Lazy what? ass. No, I know. I just, yeah, so no, I work no, at a no, grocery store. Like, hey, every time That's kind of hard. Because every, I have like, I have like probably like, 10 or 11 different people that do the same job as me because I only work at a grocery store so I just like do uh, like bag groceries and stuff and get cards and they have so many people that do that and it's just like they <laughs> no, it's give just me... fucking funny because every time someone's texted you like hey can you work for me or like, it's like oh, this dude's texting me if I don't work I don't want to do it and then that's because they just catch me off guard and it's like uh like it's Within an hour, they call me like they'll right. want you in the next hour. Right, and then okay. that's when you. Ignore if they give me like a day's notice, that. like I get, they probably don't know, but like the people that do that are annoying. Like they'll call in sick when they're not sick. Right. And oh, well, I used to do that. Do I know. Well, I, I know, but like that. an hour before, like if you know you're gonna okay, call yeah, in, at least do it before. Move. Yeah, that's a dick. Because that's annoying. Because I've had that, like people do that, and I had to come in like within the next like hour or so, and it's like, it's just annoying. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, true. that's. Yeah, you want to hit it? No. Okay. I was just <laughs> um, yeah, that is that's a, that's a piece of shit thing to do. Everyone, yeah. everyone who ever has a job, it for the most part, I guess, uh, will call in sick and not actually be sick. They just don't want to fucking work. My problem with my job is I can't do that because we have, right now, we have enough people to cover each each shift. So it would be an extremely big clusterfuck, yeah. <laughs> and it would be like people Kinda doing time and a half. Yeah. yeah. But now that you're getting bit more guys, we're getting more guys. Yeah, so yeah, we're so. gonna have we're gonna have part time guys that yeah. will cover our shifts if we need it. And that so that'd be nice. That's a big difference too from when we were playing. Honestly, it's a re- it's one of the biggest differences from when we were playing IWBO3. We were all were just in school. You had a job still, but you, you we were in um, school still, and you, you know you were playing sports. But I was working. Mm-hmm. That's Burger all we were King, doing. So. Just, huh? I was working at Burger King, so I was like, in easy. IW, IW. No. Oh, no, I was working on Pizza Hut. BO3 was yeah. the ending of Burger King. Yeah. Actually, main, the most of IW, most of our time on IW, I was going to school, and that's it. I wasn't even working. Oh, okay. Because I was just living with my dad, and he told me I didn't so have to work. So, you've in Spokane yeah. Valley, or Spokane for, I don't know, three years. Do you care if you're fucking... I don't care. Three years? <laughs> yeah. Three years, okay. Yeah. Ish, something like that. I moved here in the middle of my sophomore... Okay. My sophomore. sophomore. No. Junior year. No. Yeah, middle of my junior year. Okay. Because I was at I was at Freeman for sophomore one and a half years. And yeah, one and a half years. Sophomore and a bit of junior. Yeah. Right. So that's been well, two and a half. Well, Almost anyway, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> matter. It doesn't, it doesn't, yeah. The biggest difference is we're all. I just graduated too. We're all out of school. So yeah, now we're all yeah. out of school and stuff, stuff like that. that. Yeah, and we're on this. You know, me and him are on this vacation up here, whatever visit trip up here. <laughs> Um, it's it's, trash it's, drive, it's by the, the way. It's uh, the 16th of June, and it's we'll be gone on the 18th. Yeah, we're leaving the 18th. And then so. when I get back, I'm gonna start doing adult shit. But still, yeah. we're still gonna have time to play games. It's not like we'll probably have more time. 
Spencer, shall we tell all the viewers about what happened to you on your way up I here? I mean, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. This dumbass. It's, <laughs> hey, it's, it's not, not my that. fault. I was trying dumbass. to get up here. We were trying to get up here and see this idiot. So oh, fuck you. He <laughs> had to drive 40 a mile. Oh. Oh. He went no, 80 and a 40 or some shit. Okay, so let me, let me say it because I was the one driving. So we were probably going through Oregon and stuff like that. And... I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit tired, so I was just kind of focusing on the road. I wasn't really looking at signs or anything. And I was going uh, like 86 miles an hour, which is kind of steep. I should have been paying attention to the signs. And I was going to 86 and a 45, and then I got pulled over. And, and then he blamed uh, it all on the cop. No, I didn't. Did. What the heck? Like, I'm just the cop was a dick. It's my fault, obviously. I, I was going 86. I'm just, but I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah, so I got pulled over, and uh, I got a $440 ticket I got to pay. I mean, it's pro it's better than being probably in, like, California, because California, California probably would have been fucking ridiculous amount. Put their dick in your But yeah, it's good that I have the ranch. money. I mean, it sucks, because, ranch. honestly, if you think about it, like, I could have saved that money, and we honestly could have flew up here. and it been Fuck, cheaper. yeah. Next time we come up here, flying. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that was a 12-hour drive. Like, in the beginning, the first couple hours, not gonna lie, wasn't bad, because no. we were just chilling and stuff. Yeah, it was weird. It was, like, on the way up, um, you know, we left at 5 in the morning. Where were we? Were we past Ben, were we past ben when we um, got D DQ? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think so. So, it was, like, right past Ben is when... Is when we, we like, halfway through. <laughs> we were, like, halfway, and I was, like, yeah, we just got food, and I was feeling good. I was, like, okay, I can take a nap. But I was, like, I gotta keep driving. And I was like, just looking at the road, and then I look in my rear view, and I'm like, shit, awesome, I gotta yeah. pull over now. So see the cop. That it's that feeling. I know that feeling. I've only been pulled over like two or three times, and I've never gotten a ticket. It's always been over bullshit. Like I didn't stop all the way at a stop sign, or at a red light before I turned right, or I didn't stop all the way at a stop sign. I'm not going 86 miles an hour in a 40. It's because I know how to talk to cops. I know how to. I know okay, how to. Because you're get a part of ticket. Missoula County Sheriff's Department. Yeah, I know. I know how to get out of tickets. And the, I've gotten a lot of tickets. I've gotten like four or five tickets, but they're on those stupid ass traffic lights because they, they're, they're so automated. If you don't stop for like two and a half seconds or something at a stop sign or a stoplight before you turn right, it's a fucking $200 ticket. It's stupid. It's yeah. absolutely fucking retarded. Yeah. It was all my dad's and my dad's name when I had my truck because it was under my dad's name. So it's all good. Really? It's going against his credits. So I'm yeah, good. I'm good. good. You <laughs> I only had to pay for one too. I, I kind of just like... Yeah, my dad. Yeah, why? Well, mine was worse though. Yours is just from like a stop line. Mine's going like, but he made it seem like reckless. it was way worse than yeah. what it really was. It wasn't a speeding ticket. It was a reckless driving. And reckless He's making it seem like I was swerving through <laughs> yeah. lanes or something stupid yeah. like that. I was going straight. I was going in the same lane the whole time, and you act like I was like swerving in and out of cars and stuff like that. But I was just going straight. I wasn't like endangering any other cars. Ramming him off the road, running him off the road. He and was. Shit. Yeah, he made it seem like that, you. and he came up to the window. Like, I get it. He's just doing his job and everything, trying to keep, like, people not going hella fast. I get that. Yeah. But he just came up, and it was, like, kind of kind of weird. He just, like, you're this close to getting, going, going to jail, jail for uh, reckless driving and everything. And I was, like, I was like, okay. He saw, that like, he saw that you were young, and you just kind of got Yeah, but he didn't care. He's like, oh, I'm just going to stick it to him with a $440 citation. Yeah. And I was, like... You guys see the live PD um, in Arizona, the Arizona TPS, and he pulls over a kid for going like 60 over the speed limit, and he fucking yells at him. He didn't arrest him or anything. He was 18, and he didn't arrest him or anything. He was like new to driving and shit like that, yeah, and so he just like let him go. Him. Him. Yeah, it's stupid though because that was that. that was the first time I got pulled over and I get I get messed up with that ticket. And it's like never going that fast again. Yeah, so, you learned. Now I'm just gonna be hitting my cruise control and just going the speed back. limit. So. I take that. a little bit longer, and but honestly, hey. honestly, if you flew, yeah, you're not, you're honestly spending more. Because what you spend, what you spend, 60 bucks to get, four, 40 bucks to get up here, 50? Probably like 50, 50, 50. or 60, maybe. You, yeah, it, probably you're, 50. You're, you know, you're losing out on some money, but you're not fucking driving, to, you're not sitting in a car. To you're not right. getting, it's, it's like, like an hour and a half, like what you said, right? Do you, remember, yeah. do you really remember how much your flight ticket was? From like, Reno to Seattle was about an hour, and then it's like a... 25 30 minute flight no 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 price Seattle. i mean oh price dude, i think it's like 150 mm -hmm. 200 something yeah like that. see like dude yeah we both have money for that we can yeah i easily could have paid that no i'm gonna oh, yeah, i'm easily, easily gonna pay for the ticket, ticket too but it's just like oh uh, that yeah. sucks like, yeah yeah i don't, don't want to do that suck. again yeah i don't know you guys anything else you guys want to talk about we're at an hour right now i think about an hour yeah about 58 59 what minutes. else did you have like um you know I didn't really have we kind of covered most of the topics I wanted to talk about with the whole gaming stuff 
Um, expect uh, to see a lot of the new Call of Duty when it comes out. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to make an Apex video. I've streamed them there, made a video on yeah, Apex. Yeah, that could be channel. something we could do. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely been having a lot more fun with it. Like, I've enjoyed it in the beginning. He didn't like it as much, but he's actually started to like it. Yeah. Um, Since we've like, been up here, I've yeah. been playing it more. So, um, I actually was playing it by myself before, and it was actually pretty cool, but it gets boring after probably like a couple games when you're playing by yourself, but if you're playing with like friends, you could probably play for a couple hours, if you're doing good at least. Yeah. And me and Swift were just playing, and we got second place, but you really got to have like your strategy down and like know uh, where to go. And we obviously don't play very much, so we kind of kind of messed it up. That's probably game. Right. But definitely going to try and play that more, and then we could stream it or whatever. Make videos and, and to uh, a closing off with the team stuff. Um, like we said, we don't want to just do COD, like because that's putting a box on yourself. Mm-hmm. It is. That's limiting your your abilities with content and yeah. pro. There's pro on fucking every almost every game. Yeah, look at like player. Phase. They have you know how many teams they have for different games. Yeah, they have, yeah. They have yeah. Apex, Fortnite, COD. Apex has pro league. Yeah, yeah, they do. Holy shit. Um, the team that we were just in, uh, uh, Ruth Region. Mm-hmm. They, was it Ruth or was it? No, it was the one before that. It was, uh, what was it called? Fuck, what team was that? We were in a team where <sighs> they had, like, they, one of the, we had some of the top uh, Apex players. They were winning They were winning huge tournaments. What team was that? I know. Why can't I oh, think of it? Oh, um, not Ruth. It was uh, Brutal Brood- Democracy. Uh, yeah, yeah Brutal Democracy. <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah, they had, like, really good Apex team. That's what they were, like. The team was big four, basically. Apex, yeah. But, um, yeah, even, like, they have competitive stuff for, like, uh, what's another game? Like, Rocket League, they even have competitive yeah, things like that, which is... And that's that's cool, because you can just expand and... Yeah. Everything. Oh, we could try that. They have Apex uh, GPs. I didn't think of that. Basically, how, how, how do you... How, how it works... Work? How, yeah. it, how it works is you play against a team, and then uh-huh. you report how many kills you have. And really? it would be really easy to cheat, and there's probably going to be a lot of what? disputes, but you could just rec- screen record it. Yeah, I, there's like, Fortnite does that too, I heard, but like they have like the, um, you can turn like a certain server name or code, so it's like certain people. So it'll talk. show. Yeah, it's. I think it's, that's what it is. It's automated, so it's, it already knows how many kills each person okay. have, and it, how many kills per team. Be on we should do that right now. After this? We should try that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll let's try that it. after that. That'd yeah. be cool. But, um... Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Fucking Howard Stern. He'll be talking and then ha ha ha. No jumper. Coolest podcast. No jumper. Fathom plays coolest podcast in the world. <laughs> yeah, podcast in the world. Shout out to Adam 22. Shout out to Adam pa- 22. Podcast He's a goat. Legend. Badass girlfriend. But um, <laughs> right under Joe Rogan, Howard Stern. Bro, oh, yeah. Joe Rogan is the homeboy. Yeah. Howard Stern's Howard top Stern's for me. Top. Howard Stern, Joe Rogan. Howard Stern literally has his own Sirius XM channel, so yeah, I that's, that's, I enjoy his stuff a lot. He doesn't give a fuck if he's offensive either. He's toned like, his shit down a lot. Bitch, though. that cunt. <laughs> I don't know. He used, to be, he used to talk crazy, instigate everyone if the people would come in with drama and stuff. I wonder how the fruit cups nowadays are going to change that. I don't think they'll change Howard Stern. I don't think he cares if he loses money at this point. Well, yeah, because he's already like he's, he's got money. Stern. He's got a shit ton of money. Yeah, he's Howard yeah, fucking Stern. So it's like whatever. Yeah. But, um, you wanna yeah. close it off? Yeah, well guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys enjoy this podcast, let me know. Drop a like and um If this definitely. is something that people more want to see then like let right. us know. Definitely comment. Comment, yeah. comment if you want to see more podcasts because we'll gladly talk about different topics. If you yeah, guys have we don't want to keep doing them if they're gonna get five views and no one's gonna fucking oh, yeah. care. Yeah, because it takes a lot of time to like yeah, this took talk and two hours on top of the well just an hour on top of the hour. hour. Yeah, the intro I mean, took an hour, yeah. so it's fucking intro. Oh my god. The intro was ridiculous. You guys are, yeah. you guys are glad to. I mean, you kind of saw a little bit in the beginning, but you kind of just keep going, so it's like whatever. But. <laughs> Let's close it off. Let's close it off. Let's. Fuck you guys. Everyone was watching. Y'all are bitches. Fuck all of <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, guys. If you guys enjoyed, smash the thumbs up button. Comment comment ideas. Comment video ideas other than just podcasts. You almost just fucked our shit up. Dude, I know. I almost did. Because just fucking unplug all the mics. And, uh, but yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Fathom. This has been Aqua, Woo. the cringe, the, wow. the, the Swifter, Swift RGK, and oh shit, oh shit, third grader over here, and yeah guys, we will see you guys in the next video.